Good morning, I'm David Fellman from CombiSave and here we are at the Salford Energy House in Salford University uh, specifically designed um, to replicate a Victorian terrace uh, built exactly as the Victorians built it but actually built in a nuclear bunker so it can control the weather outside, it can make it rain they can even make it snow and they can make it freeze so we've got uh, a pretty standard 26 kilowatt combination boiler here um, without the preheat and we're going to show a test shortly of how it performs without CombiSave and how warm, how long it takes to get to 42 degrees and how much water it runs off before the actual CombiSave is fitted. So um, that's if we'll try and do that now. As you'll see it's not standard, uh, it is a standard boiler but it's not a standard fitting here. All these are all the electronic computer testing um, sensors for the flows and returns for the central heat inside and this all goes back to a mainstream computer to actually monitor the efficiency of the heating of the house. Um, so if you can ignore these at the moment we're going to try and actually fit the CombiSave inside to prove it can be fitted in very awkward situations. Um, but uh, it will perform exactly the same as a normal house if it's fitted in the house. I'm going to do the test without the combi safe fitted. I'll just turn the boiler on, just uh, ready uh, for standby from cold. And we're ready to go. I'll turn the tap on and I'll start the stopwatch at exactly the same time. Turn the uh, temperature gauge off, and we'll see what we're getting. 23 degrees, 24. Okay, it's slowly going up now. Of course, the boiler's trying to warm itself up heat the water up inside as the water running through it from the mains is taking the heat away hence why it takes some time to actually warm up ok we're at 36 degrees 38 to 47 seconds 39 degrees 40 41 Ready, 42. So it's slightly over, but it's about just over a minute there. It's one minute, two seconds. And if you check here, we're about nearly full to the brim, uh, with about 20 mils short of water. It's equivalent to around about 11, 12 litres of water wasted. If you put your hand in that, it's still pretty cold at the moment, which I can even test with the temperature gauge. The actual temperature of the water in the bowl is only 30.9. Okay, which isn't any good for washing dishes or washing your hands or anything. Okay, so we'll fit the combi save and then we'll, we'll do the test immediately afterwards. Okay, we'll go for the test with the combi save is fitted now. Just turned on the boiler, it's just doing its normal uh, check runs. Uh, wait till the fan dies down, there it goes. So it's exactly the same temperature as we started off with that, the combi save. So let's try this again now. I'll turn the tap on and the start at the same time. There you go. As you'll notice, the flow rate is reduced at two and a half litres a minute, though it's enough to start swilling your hands or, or whatever you want to do. A lot of people can actually just fill a bowl up direct, and this should still be hot enough at the end of the day. Okay, we're at 30 degrees already. 25 seconds gone. 34, 35, start to open. 38, 40, whoa! Many hands. But I just looked at that then, it was 33 seconds. So that's about half the time. Now the interesting thing here is if you look at the amount of water that's been used or run off, it's a tiny percentage. Not very accurate, but it's about 15 to 18 millimetres of water compared to being up to about 10 millimetres from the brim beforehand. That shows you that. If we can just run the water fully now, it's nice and hot. I'll fill the bowl up to where it was before last time and we can already see 
I think uh, the temperature before was only about 30 degrees. We're already the water in the bowl at the moment, 42, 43. See, it's a lot hotter than what it was without the coffee saving. The saving there was round about, uh, as we've measured this bowl before, it's round about 9, 10 litres of water saved on that run and 30 seconds quicker. That's how efficient the coffee save makes your domestic combination boiler on the delivery of hot water. So we're up to 45 degrees in here. It's good enough for uh, washing your pans, a little bit more than hand hot. And uh, you've not wasted a drop of water. You manage to fill the bowl and you can do what you want to do. So you save 30 seconds and we save around about 9, 10 litres of water. Uh, a cracking example of how the CombiSave can save you water and also save you gas as well.